Um, so I just wanted to get a bit more of an understanding of, of the actual um, system. All right. Now, uh, I just want to know what is the current domain you're working into? Um, it was actually, uh, yeah, and uh, I think it was uh, SAP, but it was an SFA based program. Now, what I mean to say is the presently on what domain, what platform are you working? Oh, Mac. Mac, okay. All right. Functional side or into a technical side? Uh, so I don't quite understand what, no, what question I you're asking. Is, uh, I mean, you're into a development side or you're into a end user side, I mean, usage point of view. Um, are you talking about kind of what I'm, what I do professionally? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I was, a, I was basically a regional sales manager. I got you. So I got you now. I got the clarity. <clears throat> so you are involved in the sales domain where you are into sales domain where your company is Mac enabled and you're using it for your sales operations all these days. This is what I understand, right? Yes. Yeah. So I, I'll be based in the customer service team. I understand. Okay, great. Now, now your company is getting updated to SAP now into a new yes. database of S4 HANA. And here you're here for attending a introduction session with me, followed by the regular yep. sessions. I'll be giving you a brief understanding of what is the goal of the program and how it helps you to update your skill set to reach up to the expectation of the implementation, how it happens in your company. Got me? That's great. Now, wherein I have designed the training program like a project here, where, see, uh, SD is such a module which picks the last phase of the company. When something is moving out through sales system, it has an effect in the every department, that is finance department has an effect, inventory department has an effect, production department has an effect in terms of billing of finance, in terms of stock of inventory, in terms of make of production. Got me? Yeah. Now, so here, the training program, what I made, just let me move to the whiteboard. Give me a minute. Now, here, okay. Now, okay. every day, what all the sessions we do, the session will be recorded automatically on a system now because I have been set the recording panel. And after the class, once the session has been done, you can see every activity, what all I've been doing on the whiteboard and the system here, along with my voice. So it's like a movie you can play and watch the right. entire session and get yourself convinced. And thereby that can be based for you to practice in the system like how I've been shown. That's the way sure. you can groom yourself with the best of understanding of the subject in terms of make and in terms of theoretical speaking. Right me? Yeah. Now you're here for a module SAP SDS. I'm being expertise in this. I teach 100% of this module. Along with this, I also cover some part of finance that is how to work on GL, general ledger, in terms of AR and AP, that is account receivables and account payables. Got me? Right. I also make you understand some part of production planning module that is planning in terms of MRP, material requirement plan, that is order based productions. Okay. I also cover some part of materials management which will make you to understand how to go with account determinations and the WM part, warehouse management. 
for STP. This is the main point of S4 database, the concept wise. Now, let me put it in this way. Today, every company is e-com enabled. Do you accept it online? Yeah. If I want to buy a pen or pencil also, I can go online and buy, right? Yeah. So if I log into Amazon account, for example, the moment when I log in, it will be asking for my postal code. Once I give my postal code, it will be sourcing the nearby stock, which is there at the nearest company's stock point. And from there, I'll be getting the details, right? Yeah. So what is happening here? There is no person addressing us. There is no person guiding us about the stock. It is happening automatically online. So when sure. I connect the warehouse management to the sales system, during the top time of sales transaction, system will show the stock in hand, which makes yeah. the user to commit for what time and what date can be delivered. So warehouse management connects to source the stock which will be picked up immediately during this transaction automatically. Materials management will show the stock to the sales system of how much stock is available in the company, no matter where it is. Got me? Okay. And production planning makes you understand the accept the orders in pipe, which is order make to order point of view. And account receivables. Okay. Sorry, say, say that again about production planning. Production planning we configure for accepting made to orders order based product okay okay that is see there are some companies who never have any product virtually seen out there. they have yeah, everything yeah, yeah. on a the catalog they'll present the catalog and once the customer gives an order that product has been designed according to that choice got me yeah best example you can take as interiors so no interiors is ready made available right they have all the photographs of the uh, facilitating models of interiors and once the customer go for booking it has been prepared right okay so take example of ferrari if you want to buy a ferrari car which is sap implemented everything is customized there so when you go for an order and then the manufacturing is happening it is order based production material requirement plan that is order based production chart. right and ar account receivables if you see here yeah when i accept a sales order and raise a bill it should automatically hit the finance department from where they'll collect the payments right you understand the point yeah so that is your FI point of view, how AR is compatible, you need to understand. And AP is for purchasing, so just for understanding. So I will take the example of a company, which is already SAP implemented from my past experience. And I'll be sharing the scenarios of that project, how it might have been, how we might have been and how the client might have been asked and how we encountered the business situations, how we analyzed. They all are made as a case studies here. And based upon that, I'll teach you how to make those all in SAP system. So with okay. this, you will be groomed with a very good understanding on how it will be asked and how it is customized. Then at the end of the day, we'll see how to use it also. So with this, sure. Things will be very clear for you to understand how the, it will be organized. Got me? Yeah. Now, here, this is a module which we completely customize 100%. And F5, some part, I say 20 to 20% 20, 20 odd. Materials management, some 30% warehouse 40 percent like common stages are interrelated and connected to the sd system so this is the goal of the program got you because in s4 how it is designed means it is called logistics because logistics consists of sales 
logistics consists of inventory logistics consists of warehouse logistics consists of production so that's the reason sure. i made this program this meets your project expectation is that clear what i am explaining yeah okay now when you speak about very basics of sap let us understand what is sap and where it stand in the market and how to how the implementation process goes on and what are the other erps and how sap is better than those other erps and what is the landscape on which sap architecture is designed and what are the roles and responsibilities of a consultant what are the various stages of the project this all we'll understand detailed you hear me right yeah okay now sap is a product of erp that is enterprise resource planning the main goal of erp is there are so many tools available in the market here the main concept of erp according to the resources provided by the entrepreneur the infrastructure should be planned so in such a case there are so many available resources in the market which are quite popular like sap microsoft got an erp called microsoft dynamics oracle itself is an erp people soft jd edwards likewise sap is one of the erp which play a number one role in the market now yeah. the competitors are sap implementing because the features what sap got their product don't have it for example microsoft though microsoft got a product called microsoft dynamics but microsoft runs on sap there itself you can understand what is the uh, 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 what to say the strongness of sap and the infrastructure oh. is how vast it is and there is no software bigger than sap this is okay. it, it, it occupies almost 1 tb of your hard disk imagine how it would be yeah and to run at least you need to have a uh, 60 to 80 gb of hard uh, of ram you need to have to run the software of sap that is the main server i mean right so when something is such a big obviously whatever is the expectation of the customer it has everything in it till date we couldn't find a customer customer means a company who are uh, utilize the complete resources or complete features of sap so that's what sap is into clear so if us yeah. start speaking on it it's having a many success stories a very base point a company which is sap enabled their profits are going high but not coming down because of its user friendly infrastructure i'll introduce you to the sap screen there itself we can understand how user friendly it is great now which stands for systems application product which is purely meant for maintaining the database of a company so okay. any company who is going for sap implementation it is for a database maintenance but not for any other purpose started by five key ibm engineers with a company called sap ag in the year 1972 with a one tier architecture when i say a one tier architecture it's a single system landscape where the system itself is administrator the system itself is a user system itself is a developer that is development system right that is one single system we back in 80s we come across with two tier architecture one as a database server separately and the next user come developer but we back in 90s we come across i mean sap introduced r3 architecture sap r by 3 a three tier real time architecture now yeah <laughs> this consists of the database server application server and the client server clear now this is the yeah. master copy of the main server the images of this i can make as a multiple application servers one as a development system one as a testing system one as a production system one as a golden client as many as i want i can make at the sample i made it three here 
for example developer works in the development part and that developed application will move to the testing system and then once it is test approved it will be moved to the production system wherein it is customized and integrated and given access to the employees of the company as a client where they use okay. the applications on a daily basis and all the transactions what we do at this layer will have a dump in the db image clear yeah so this is the concept of architecture this architecture is designed to meet the multiple people working together without involving with each other activities so for example a room has only one door if i'm using for entry exit and emergency exit there is a lot of traffic jam do you accept it yes if the same room has three to four entries it's a user friendly to operate that particular premises got me sure so that's a kind of a very base example of how r3 works in is that clear yes okay now they are the people who are known as the founders of sap now in order to implement sap into a company do you have an idea how much time it takes no a long time it takes a long time 12 to 18 months is the base duration required to implement okay. sap into any company it may go beyond if the company is bigger got me we have implemented sap into o2 it's gone up to 2 uh, year 3 3 months 15 days right we have implemented sap into uh, taramac uk which is uh, one of the largest road development company in uk okay it took approximately for us 20.34 months so right and there are small companies even which we have even completed implementation in 8 months or 9 months sometimes so it's all how vast the client infrastructure is accordingly will go for a committed time but what we do among these stages this is what you need to understand got me yeah okay. when i speak about implementation of sap in a company it will be undergoing at a high level in three stages we have a development stage we have a testing stage then the product of sap is ready so if i elaborate it it has five major stages internally project preparation business blueprint realization final preparation go live and support now here when i say a project preparation what we do over here i need to understand what is the client business so for example now your company is getting sap implemented right yeah you will be inviting the development team of sap experts from sap or whichever company your company is undersigning and they need to understand your company's infrastructure that is called project preparation got me yeah and whatever they understood they start preparing a document called business blueprint say how many okay. how many dealers are there how many distributors are there how your products are reachable through online how your products are reachable through direct sales team what are the various pricing schemes your company have where the manufacturing units are there how the finance system is organized if i speak from selling point of view how the sales system is organized how the inquiry form looks like how the quotation form and what information should be filled in mandatorily and how the details should be extracted how the customer is recognized and what are the information to be how the product is recognized and what should be the pricing schemes if i sell it to a direct customer what should be the price if i sell it through online what is the price if i'm selling to a corporate customer what should be the price how the negotiation system should be how the tax system should be i need to understand and analyze how the company is currently organized and document it right sure. and this document what i prepared is based for me to follow and customize in sap you follow it yeah 
so blueprint consists of the infrastructure details of the company and then realization see realization is a stage where i as a consultant come to a conclusion what exactly the client is looking into so for example i'll tell you now you want to construct a new building you invite a builder right and yeah you give the requirement if he sure. understood your building requirement then only his construction process will start otherwise it cannot be right sure so realization is a point of place where we as a consultants and the company where we are implementing sap will come to a close understanding of what we seek from each other and okay. the blueprint will be undersigned at this stage by the client and then we customize everything in sap like an sd consultant customize all the sales system and fi consultant all customize the finance related and mm consultant customize all inventory related every module will be undergone with that particular area relevant stages customized and integrated and then we run at small test cases for example i am creating a sales order it should show what is the price it should show when it is available it should show when the product can be delivered to the customer got me yeah so if the inventory production finance is not connected i won't be getting this output so we'll test it whether it is happening or not and finally i need to train the employees of the company how to use say i need to train the employees of the company how to create an inquiry quotation order contracts shipping billing relevant to my module similarly okay. other model trainers other model consultants will go with their model relevance to that particular domain employees sure and then the product of sap is ready we the consultants sit on a support system so that if any issues we will be working on support to troubleshoot clear yeah so without having a knowledge of the customizing of the various areas you cannot be a part of an implementation project and without having a strong understanding on how to make it and how to use it also you cannot be a part of support also so during this training program i will teach you how to customize everything like how lively it happens during the project i also teach you how to use it so that you will be able to respond to the troubleshooting situations if anything is missed out got me correct yeah is that clear that's great now just give me one minute let me log into the sap system i'll introduce you to the application of sap so that you understand how it works at the end of the day after you customize everything from your side i'm just showing you one cycle I mean one transaction which i had been done for my existing batch okay okay just a minute I'm not being calm again. Okay. Now here, this is the SAP screen 
I'm just creating a yeah. sales order. Just watch me here. Okay. Selecting the, if I just extract here, it will show so many document types. Okay. Now, when you speak about customized, it should be organized. So, the geographical location where the transaction is happening. So, I'm going to select my mate. For example, here I say as a Ford. So I've taken an example okay. of Ford, Ford company, and I've been trained to batch how Ford companies infrastructure should be. So sales location and the transaction happening online, and the product is for Ford Basic or Sedan. I say it's a basic model. If I extract here, it will show the documents relevant to Ford. I made a standard order, rush order, and cash sales. So I'll take general order. The customized is what all the values are selecting. They are customized. The template is defaultly given by SAP. Got it? Okay. So my customer ID. To be given here. So if you see here, my customer is Mr. Richard Williams. That's the ID. Just double click on it. And when I click on enter, it will pick up the shipping address automatically where to be shipped. Okay. And here I got to give the material. 400 is the product code and the quantity is one. Now I made the contracts as, I mean, I was working on contracts, which is still in open status. It is asking whether to take the reference of the contract and accept this order. Otherwise you want to create an order directly. I made this messaging system active. That's the reason it's saying, I say continue. I want to show you a fresh sales order. Now here you can see, I have given the product, it picks up when it can be deliverable. On 8th, the material is available and the product is being moved through the shipping point which is connecting the production of plant and product is deliverable through the shipping point from where your logistics execution will be connected. And which manufacturer, I mean, which part of plant will sow the stock for plant one. This is all customized and integrated. You're getting the point, right? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> what all I've been showing, when I take the customer ID and present a product, it is showing which plant will source the stock from production point sure. of view. It is showing which shipping point will get the initiation to process the delivery, connecting the logistics. And now the pricing, the pricing schemes, which is customized, that to be given here. So for example here, I'll say FRDP, the price scheme, I say here as 10,000 euros, on which I want to give a discount of FRD. as 50 as a discount if i just go up you can see here it is understanding 10000 as a price minus 50 so 9950 on which the freight that is the delivery charges as 10% added as 995 totally it is 10945 euros is that clear well, it would so it, it would work out <clears throat> it would work out the price of the item and the price of the delivery. And if yeah. you wanted to put a discount, you can you can it, work it, as however you want. I just made one scenario 
i am just showing you how it can be presentable so it all depending upon the client requirement how the things should be organized with what percentage of what everything can be customized now here it tells you can okay. see i'm giving 10000 it is understanding as price i'm giving 50 it is understanding as minus i'm giving 10 it is understanding as percentage this is all customizing got me right so anything see i can reverse it for example percentage should be discount and fixed amount should be the freight you can customize accordingly sure so that's all we can see as how we progress during our regular training i'm just making you understand how the things appear at the end of the day this is what uh, on a okay. daily basis when you use it appears like this right right you learn how to make this all with me now so you understanding how the finance systems you understanding how the inventory system you understanding how the production system connects to the sales system and system, make yeah. the best response of the transaction process now sure. even i have been activated the incompletion log say for example if any incomplete any information is incomplete how the system should respond as we work on incompletion log if i just click on check here it throws some message if anything is incomplete since everything okay. is properly organized it says the document is complete so the transaction is successfully saved got me so that's a, that's like a that's like a check to make In, sure that's like yes if, in completion log yeah please go on if you forgot to um you know uh, uh click a box or or enter you know enter yes. a bit of information yes. you can check it with the complete log absolutely so i have been activated the incompletion log where system will give an opportunity to cross check what are the fields which are incomplete and i can go for a completion of that then the document will be completion in status if i save it it can be referred for the next stage got me okay so this is all about how the training program is organized and what exactly the process and how i'll be facilitating the I am mean, facilitating the things for you, and the reading materials, the best practice books will be uploaded through Google Drive. You can download from there and read it for your theoretical purpose. And when you are planning for certification, even I have been prepared a couple of stuff with a very brief understanding. I'll be sharing those also, which will help you to speak fluently and um, understand the concepts. <clears throat> and okay the server which i use here for training the same will be given access to you where how i log in here you can log in from your place and start working on the exercises what i give and right every session is recorded anyway on your system so if you are stuck oh. up anywhere you can go and play back the recording and see where you are committing mistake and you can resume from there and get understanding on it still if you have any doubt very next day when we meet for a session we can get clarified while discussing on what is issue and that's the way things will be organized good to go yeah and how long uh what is the kind of standard length of course um, you tell me if you, you know, have any specification we can work on that otherwise approximately it goes one to one and a half months and how many sessions is that is every, that every day how are we will be doing and uh, monday to friday you'll have and uh, approximately what is that one what is that one one hour session per day yeah one hour session per day for example today okay. we started at 7:30 am so let us speak about 7:30 to 8:30 every day yes one, right one hour we do and i don't uh, commit on the time i want my trainee to understand everything in a best if it needs some more hours required and if it needs less time whatever the content we have been designed that everything should be covered no matter what is the time sure. that is my main goal main concept main concern i can say clear sure good to go so if um for example I wanted to do two hours a day. Would that possible? Would that be possible? We can we can do it. We can finish up in fifteen days. In such a case, if we do two hours a day. Okay. 
see how okay, how, how how early you can join the session i can stretch right so if we if we can join the session at six o'clock or six thirty in the morning we can make up two hours effectively what is your what is your earliest time you can join tell me accordingly i can organize myself um uh realistically it's probably seven seven okay so seven to eight thirty nine if we do we can make up and weekend we'll stretch okay. saturday and sunday we'll stretch according to a convenient and we'll make up the best and we can conclude a okay. asap then we'll coordinate and plan don't worry on that perfect okay so tomorrow let's meet at 7 am then yep you can just talk to the organizer and just give a confirmation and uh, 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 let them get back to me with a clarification then start use the same link to join sharp seven o'clock i'll be online for you that's great and you'll send me the recordings from this session and also the course notes from this session so that i can just look at that the recording is happening on your system. I don't need to send. Once I end this meeting, you'll find this recording saved in my documents of your system. And once I end okay. this meeting, you'll get an alert of converting the recording. Just click on that conversion. It will convert to media file. Then you can play as number of times as you want. OK. And the uh, uh, books and all, as we progress, I'll be sharing the stuff by email so you can just go through with them all right uh, can you see an example of, of what the um course notes books look like i'm not getting you what you're asking sure all right so nice meeting you james let's meet perfect you morning at 7 a.m then that's great all right thank you thank you bye bye and bye -bye. have a great day and use the same link to join in the morning right is this okay okay thank you bye bye thanks bye bye now the first and foremost topic to begin with will start with organization master data so first i'll do one thing in sap the first process starts with master data okay so let me give an understanding on this and then you understand the levels of master data okay now what is master data out of your understanding mm -hmm. what do you understand by master data in general um the main data as in the main source from where you would be dealing right right so mm -hmm. what are the components come under master data now then you tell me okay let me put in other words mm -hmm. how you identify a company in general what makes a company um, it's various organizations, as in it's various parts, as in main, its main product and its various functional areas. Right. So we don't find mm -hmm. much of changes happening when you speak about the infrastructure of a company, right? Mm -hmm. But when I say the utilization, it may be changeable, right? So what change of it? I mean, utilization, when I speak about the utilization about the operations, they are quite changeable a while, right? They yeah, 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 right. Correct. The transactions yes. will keep on changing according to the market process and the customers coming in. But your infrastructure yeah. will not change. Okay. So when it's right. about correct. master data, it all related to the infrastructure resources. So whenever you start implementing SAP in any company or understanding the infrastructure of any company, you will come up with the main organization level mm -hmm. so you can see here okay okay if you see here the data which remain unchanged for over an extended period 
in order to run the business levels at various sectors is so called known as master data now mm hmm correct organization master data that is infrastructure manufacturing unit mm hmm shipping points stock points mm -hmm. store locations sales locations geographically your branch offices the people as a manpower and the point of sales mm -hmm. locations that is the dealer network or distributor they all remain stable right mm -hmm. so right your organization master data consists of the basic infrastructure of a company and okay. these all are the application layouts an application layout which allow you to create mm -hmm. a customer it is customer master data an application okay. layout which allows you to create a product it is product master data an application layout which allows you to maintain the track list of a customer track list of mm -hmm. material info record presentation of the product through bills of material pricing okay condition record mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. your infrastructure is organization master data to begin with we are starting with this right okay so when you speak about infrastructure what it mean mm -hmm. that's what we need to understand now now okay now here i have taken example of dell here as a company okay so okay how many manufacturing units are there how many divisions are there how many sales locations mm -hmm. which can be visible and how many outlets outlet means a point of place from where the product is reachable to the customer so okay if you want to buy a product you can go to vendor you can go to the company direct sales team you can go to the showrooms okay mm -hmm. or you can go to online web portals so mm -hmm. correct distribution channel is the end point from where goods are reachable and the sales office mm -hmm. it is like a branch office or it can be a corporate office okay and correct sales group is nothing but a people the manpower mm -hmm. operates the infrastructure to bring in the business right okay and mm -hmm. stock location the stock point where the stock is maintained and all right the shipping point the point of what do you say uh, the place where from where the sale get executed okay in terms of delivery right now <laughs> see you are here to learn sap sd module yes right i am an sd consultant mm -hmm. that is completely fine but you got to have an understanding mm -hmm. of the entire infrastructure so that you remember the very first mm -hmm. day when i was doing the introduction session for you i was writing on the board sd with mm sd with fi sd with wm mm -hmm. integrations i said yes 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 yeah so mm -hmm. to make that interfaces you need to customize the infrastructure up to that level right correct so when i speak about our operations of a company you have a team of people who are working mm -hmm. to make that process right i have an sg consultant in the project i have an fi consultant i have an mm consultant i have a wm consultant so all the consultant uh -huh. work done that makes the completion of the project mm -hmm. so but here correct correct here you are moving independently i am an independent person who is teaching right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i know i know the process how it works because i have a live experience i worked on many projects i'm working in many projects but if i teach you something mm. something is coming in it will be executed like this that suggests as a assumption for you right so with that you cannot speak Correct. that strongly yes. how i speak so what i made here i made mm -hmm. a template this company and company code are the key areas of the finance model can you just give me a minute let me get the stylus the pen to connect so that i can map it up give okay. me time okay okay no worries mm hmm mm hmm
Okay. Now here, mm -hmm. company and company code. These are the main identification of a company. So financial infrastructure, plant. Okay. What is, what is company code? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Plant is a part of okay. production and the inventory management work area. Okay. So the location is a core area of the materials management. And the warehouse is a core area of the okay. And sales organization, distribution, okay. division, and the sales area, sales, these all are the core areas of SD. So when I all right. when I'm selling something to sales system, if I'm not connected to WM, I won't be knowing how to pick up the stock. Mm -hmm. If I'm not connected to WM, I won't be knowing how much stock is there in the company. Mm -hmm. If I'm not connected to the production Correct. and inventory, this do both they will not work. And finally, if it is not connected to the finance system, I cannot mm -hmm, mm -hmm. get the stock reductions in the inventory and I cannot understand the billing cycle and pricing systems. And Correct. the shipping is which is relevant to LE logistics execution, mm -hmm. which will make you understand okay. how the goods have been moved from one place to other place because in SD, when I'm selling, I need to deliver the product to the customer. It happens through shipping point. So when these models right. are, are not interrelated, that is integrated, you cannot get any kind of options. Mm -hmm. So that's the concept I'm making all this. The main focus is these. Right. These all right. have right. been customized at a higher level so that I can run my show. That's the concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, a company is a legal entity. When I say a legal entity, mm -hmm. For example, I'll take an example of uh, say Nike. Okay. Everybody can understand what is Nike, right? They are into a sports equipment right. based industry where they have the yeah yeah say the sports equipments. Also, they have the sportswear, clothing, huh. apparel. I can say. Yeah. So hmm. the products which are manufactured. In USA, are they sold in India? Maybe or may not be, right? Yeah, yeah. The products that are manufactured in India, they are not moving to USA, right? So, Correct. Nike is having their manufacturing set up in every country. The formula, right. the formula is being set by the Nike parent company, but the product is manufactured in the local place, right? Correct. So. One company can have multiple infrastructures. Every infrastructure identity is a duplicate name of the company, which is dedicatedly working for that country operations. That is called company code. All right. Okay. So one okay. company can have multiple companies. duplicate identity of the company. No, we cannot say duplicate. I say one company can have multiple company mm -hmm. codes. So for example, now Correct. Nike. USA Limited. This is the parent company. I say Nike India Limited, Correct. Nike Australia Limited, Nike Canada Limited, Nike UK Limited. And this is the mm -hmm. operations mm -hmm. of that country. And this has its right. own infrastructure, this has its own infrastructure, this has its own, this has its own. Nothing is interrelated. Mm -hmm. yes. mm, example, correct. You work for Nike and I work for Nike. I work for India operations and you work for Australia operations. Are we interrelated anywhere? Correct. Our pay structure is different. Our work culture is different. No. Work timing is different. Our product catalog yeah. is different. Correct. Everything is different. But at the end of the day, we yes. are working for one yes. company that is Nike, right? Yes. So right. When the mm -hmm, company mm -hmm. have the independent infrastructure organized, it can be a location wise, or it can be a country wise, or it can be a state wise, or it can be street wise. We identify the operating okay. by company code. So if you notice, okay. here, Got it. everything, what all organization you will hmm. see is connected to company code. Company is not connected directly. Hmm. Company is like a president who never do anything. Right. Who is just the first citizen okay. of the country. Yeah. All activities are been done by prime minister. Correct. Company code is like prime minister. Correct. So Correct. that's the concept of the difference between the company and company code. And the plant is a point of place where goods are manufactured okay. or assembled. Store mm -hmm. location is the point of place where the stock is maintained. 
within the premise of the plant all right from where the goods are all right picked to various warehouses and maintain the stock and this is a convenient point okay which will sold the stock to the outlets say for example right so as an origin you 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 are based on karnataka bangalore right i remember hmm hmm i mean i, I mean basically you from bangalore sorry basically you from bangalore right no i'm from ahmedabad no ahmedabad. i'm from ahmedabad oh, okay okay i'm sorry it may be other train yeah all right so when i say ahmedabad yeah. okay mm-hmm. there are lot of electronic showrooms in ahmedabad right correct now if anybody wants a uh, some stock to be coming in he is not bringing from the company's manufacturing unit right no no they'll bring from the warehouse warehouse so warehouse is something yeah. like which is maintained by the company chief stockist correct correct now if say for example if i take an example of uh, say nike assume that the nike products mm-hmm. are been manufactured in karnataka bangalore okay they have one more manufacturing units in pune all right now if you got to sell a product in ahmedabad through the various sales points called distribution mm-hmm. channel right in ahmedabad itself i have one chief stockist where the stock is maintained of karnataka also the pune so he will sell the stock to all these outlets okay got it okay all the way yeah. all the way it is not going got it warehouse is the place where the stock is maintained at the outside of the premise of the plant all right store location is a point of place where the stock is maintained within the plant that's the difference okay so so pune and bangalore would be warehouse locations right yeah the production units production units yeah okay i got uh, it yes all right got it ye yeah, ahmedabad hai theek hai ha ha ye pura jo hai outlet samjhiye aap theek hai so har ek outlet pe jab stock ka kamti hoti hai it is not going to the plant and picking the product company is maintaining the stock point in every state or city or country correct 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 it is called warehouse yahan pe jo hai aapko pune se banti hai stock aur karnataka se banti So this is okay. this is the company maintain point. Right, right. We'll show the stock to the, all the outlets. Now, yeah. Now, for example, right. when we go to any outlet, the outlet person may say, "Why don't you say, stay for a while? I'll get the product from the go down. By mm. evening, I'll make the product available on the counter." Correct. That means he's going yeah, to right. the stock point and collecting. This is the warehouse. So right. Outside the premises of the plant, where you maintain stock, maintain करते हो वो warehouse है. विद इन द प्लान जहां पे आप स्टॉक मेंटेन करते हो सोरेज लोकेशन है करेक्ट ओके ओके गॉट इट शिपिंग पॉइंट इज कनेक्ट टू द प्लान फ्रॉम वेयर द स्टॉक इज बीन मूव्ड टू वेरियस प्लेसेस ओके सो वेयर एवर यू वांट टू मूव द प्रोडक्ट इट इट इज हैपेंस थ्रू शिपिंग पॉइंट ऑल राइट सेल्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज अ ज्योग्राफिकल लोकेशन फ्रॉम वेयर यू आइडेंटिफाई द सेल्स टेरिटरी मतलब for example now karishma is a customer of ahmedabad so how it is maintained okay. in the database so she is a customer of ahmedabad some outlet so i'm product mm-hmm. purchase the product of nike products so identification okay. of product is by division play point of place where the sale happening is a distributor that is outlet and geographical location mm-hmm. of that place is sales organization okay okay so a sales organization plus distribution plus division forms a sales area and this is all right by an officer sorry by an office which is mm-hmm. considered as your branch mm-hmm. office or zonal office or regional office or sales office maintained mm-hmm. by a group of people mm-hmm. as a manager as a supervisor as a executive so person represents a group okay. and group manager an office office controls an area and area makes a combination of sales or distribution division all three okay so this is the concept of the organization levels what we are going to make now clear theoretically okay okay yeah correct now this particular topic enterprise structure is customized and maintained in three stages first uh-huh. i got to define all of them independently then i got okay. to assign then i got to check 
Okay. So first, today we'll start with definition, and as mm-hmm. how the time is progress, we'll go with assignment, and then by okay. the end of tomorrow session, we can see the. I mean, I can check. I can I can show you the hierarchy how it looks like. Clear? Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, let me log into the SAP system. I guess log in here to begin with. Uh-huh. See, all these days you have ended up working from here, right? You have never been to the backend screen, right? But you might have having an no. idea of IMG screen, right? You might have heard about it. No. Okay, no problem. Normally we won't discuss. SAP has two phases. Okay. We mean okay. Uh, implementation team, not training point of view. Okay. SAP Easy Access and hmm. SAP IMG Screen. This is a core okay. consultant work area. Okay. This is an end user work area. All right. What you see, this is end user work area. That's why all these days you're working from here. So correct. Already. Everything you just see only the name you might have given manually. Remaining all drag and drop. That's all, right? Right, right. Drag and drop, enter and save it. When I say drag and drop, enter and save it, how the values are coming in from there? It is customized. Hmm. So any topic I teach, yeah. any topic I teach, first I go to the IMG screen and customize. Then I'll come here to show okay. you how it is usable. Got you? All right. So in SAP to go to any application, you have Path, and you have a T code. T code that is transaction mm-hmm. code. Path that okay. is a traditional way to go. Now, a traditional, a traditional way to get into an application. Okay. For example, okay. your office is located in sixth floor. How you go? Okay. You can mm-hmm. go by stairs or you can go by lift, right? Correct. Correct. So, traditional way is by going by stairs. Okay. Yeah. The technical way is by going by lift. Correct. So I can change the lift location, but I cannot change the stair. It comes within the process of building make, right? Yeah, right. So why I'm telling you this? Why I'm insisting on this? There are cases where I can change the T code. Okay. But I cannot change the path. Correct. So while you're learning, always prefer to understand what is the path for every step. What we're doing. Okay. And the T code, even though I'm not telling you yourself, can know. I'll tell you how. For example, mm-hmm. to go to the IMG screen, you know how to come to this screen. Mm-hmm. Tools. Yeah. If you are an ABAPO, you'll go to ABAP workbench. If you are administrator, you'll go to administration. You are to functional side, so customizing. All right. IMG, which stands for Implementation Guide. Okay. SPRO Execute Project. Double click on it. Now, click on SAP Reference IMG. What is the mm-hmm. ticket to come to this? This is SAP Customizing Implementation Guide. You name a thing, which when I say customizing, it all happens here. Relevant to any module. Relevant to SD, EFI, MM, PP, QM, WM, FI. All happens here. Only. Okay. So, what is the T code to come to this? If you see here, the transaction is SPRO. So, mm-hmm. even though if I am not telling you the T code, once you are in the destination application, you can see the T code coming in here automatically. But nobody can okay. tell you what is the path. So, learn by path. Mm-hmm. So, always when I say T code, it should be given from main screen here. All right. Just type SPRO. Enter. SAP Reference IMG. Done. Okay. So this is SAP Customizing Implementation Guide, and we are talking about the first topic, Enterprise Structure here, which got to be okay. in three stages: defining, assigning, and consistency check, which I was telling you just now. Clear? 
करेक्ट सो डेफिनेशन मतलब सभी को पहले बनाना है उसका असाइनमेंट सभी को रिलेट करना है कंसिस्टेंट टू सी द फ्लो चार्ज दैट इज हायर आरकी ऑफ व्हाट यू मेड क्लियर करेक्ट हां 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 सो फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग लॉजिस्टिक जनरल सेल्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मेटल मास लॉजिस्टिक एग्जीक्यूशन व्हाट ऑल आई वाज एक्सप्लेनिंग हियर दिस टू आर द एफए मॉडल रिलेटेड लॉजिस्टिक जनरल सेल्स मॉड्यूल then logistics execution i got to go to the views accordingly how it should be so enterprise okay. so definition first financial accounting mein jaake yahan pe you find lot of things here not relevant to our module they all are not core area of hd the company or company okay. ko agar mai nahi banaya sales company ka identification kahan se aata hai yana sana point mm mm-hmm. hm For example, you, you, I tell that sales organization the point of place from where you sell. You are selling what? Right. A product. A product belongs to yeah. what? A product belongs to a company, right? So correct. If I have not made a company, then who will join my sales company? Ko kisko ja ke jodna hai? <laughs> right, 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 right. So for that purpose, we are making the company and company code. Otherwise, these are the first setups which are done by the FI consultants during the project. Hmm, 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 hmm. So. Click on the I am the activity. Okay. See when I say here, just wait. Let me go back. If you click on this, if the document will tell you what is the concept. If I click on this clock-like logo, which is called as I am the activity, allows you to execute. So click on the I am the activity. Okay. Find a lot of companies reportedly <laughs> as a demo clients in SAP system here. Okay. Okay. And you find some other which are made by me and my trainees for. me for training and training for practice purpose like you can see tata motors you can see all right zippo and you can see many more hmm okay what all you see all right. pds these are the sap standard given by sap itself as a demo client relevant to the country standard okay in order to make your own one just click on new entries so i say here n i k e Nike Private Limited as short name and detail name. I name two. Mm-hmm. Do we have a second name for Nike? No, right. No. Let, me, let me take HLL Hindustan Liver Limited, right? Familiar? Okay. Yeah. It has a second name Hindustan Unilever Limited, right? So in right, right, case, right, right. If I give any name, system should respond. So you can use name to in such a case. If you don't have, ignore it. All right. Okay. Then street number. Give some street number. Anything it can be. Post box mm-hmm. number. Give some number. The length should match. Postal code. The length should match. City. Yeah. I take example of Germany. So while you're practicing, suggest All you right. to take the country as Germany or suggest you to the country take as India. Reason I tell you why. Okay. The servers are maintained okay. in India. So when we go oh. for SAP installation and setup, the administrator will defaultly give the country as India. And SAP is the product. What of, I made in India, sorry. Now what I mean to say is, whenever you install any software, you right with the local standards, right? Correct. So these servers are maintained in India. So. whenever they okay. set up the sap server they activate all the mm. in that is in and inr standards in india inr is indian currency okay okay and also since sap is the german based product so defaultly as a standard it is set with the de that is german as a country and euros as the euro, euro european currency okay If you so start, it will set both India and Europe, or it Germany has, both. It will accept. You now, what I mean to say, it has a complete currency setups related features related to India and Germany defaultly. All right, all right, got okay. it. So, for example, now I live in USA. If I want to take US as a country, I don't have settings of what tax done over here. There is American taxation, so it will give you mm-hmm. related to some kind of tax related issues, exchange rates. All right, okay, But got it. 
in the company when it is purchased on sap as a software to wherever whichever country it is dealing that installation and the setup happens according to the that company that country standards but this is a training right, system, right? Yeah. you got a point mm, right so got it got it yeah intentionally if you give australia as a country and australian dollars as currency it may throw some error where you must stuck up not getting the practice mm. going for height right correct correct so yeah pick either india or germany for a user friendly practice because we practice. want to understand okay. process no matter for which country we do right 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 so and for few fields you see a drop down right we don't have any drop yeah, down yeah. here but here i have if i click over here you name a country it will show all the countries right So where all the SAP usage is possible to show all. Mm -hmm. So I take mm -hmm. I take and I suggest to take Germany D. Okay. And the language I say English, currency euros. Now this is the button okay. to save. Click on save it. Now when you click on save, it gives you a pop up saying custom prompt for customizing request. Okay. So for example, when I download something from online, hmm. where it will go and save? download something in, in my downloads in my downloads right if you give yeah. a different if you give a different path it will go to that particular place correct yeah. yeah. it will go to the c drive if you want to add to e drive yes it will go if you want to add to f drive yes it will accept until you change it it will yeah. same right yeah so what all the activities we do in sap i got to save in a request id assume that it's like a folder okay okay so for the first time when i log in it may ask you to create your own request and okay got this not this came why don't know why that just came in it yeah. Am I getting a call? It's me. I'm just trying to connect. I'm not getting the server connected. Oh, oh okay. I'm just trying to check.
okay now just now the message what you see if the server get breakdown you'll get that message right okay so connect it anyway Okay, once you give all the information, when you click on save, okay, an entry already there because somebody might have already used with my key. So let us try with some other. Company. Okay. I say. Hmm. Just a second. Yeah, sure. Wait. Yes, I continue, please. Suzuki. Okay. Now, once you save it, you'll get this screen. Now, when, since I have been, I've been using for various batches. I have lot many requests created for different different. If I am creating an Onida for other batch, I'm creating Panasonic for other batch, Samsung like that. So many mm -hmm. batches. So when you log in, it will be showing as blank. Okay. So. This is icon to create a request, a first time or one time created. I say here, mm -hmm. Suzuki. And I say, okay. system will generate an alpha numerical number automatically. All right, just continue. All right. So anytime okay. you do any activities in IMB screen for customizing, it will pop up with the request and you say continue, it's a confirmation, it is getting saved. That is okay. Done. Okay. So you have created a source by name Suzuki and it has been dumped in the database with your own request ID. And next company code. Okay. Click on the IMG activity. So by Euro you request Go on. by Euro request ID you mean uh, hmm? come back again by Euro? By Euro request ID, yeah, we put in Euro because all the taxation and all that purposes, right? That you explained earlier. See, I've taken uh, Europe as a country, I mean, Europe as a currency because it's all set for default standards. You take got I, it, it fine. is set with default standards, right? Got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the next, you say, edit copy delete check company code. Select edit company code and double. Don't go by copy. Select edit. Double click on it. Okay. Which will allow you to create your own one new. New entries. All. And here okay. say SUZ1. So mm -hmm. D E L T D. D represents Germany. All right. And the city Frankfurt, country Germany. Currency use language English. When you are coming up with a company code, it got to be maintained the address in detail. So this is okay. So this is a, a icon which allows you to maintain the address. You need to click on it. But even though you forget, so okay. continue. Yes, you can continue. Mm -hmm. It will not allow you to All right. because it has a mandatory field. Okay, okay, okay. So set a field as a mandatory. That we'll be seeing in the upcoming sessions, mm -hmm. probably on today's what Tuesday, right? Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Thursday, we'll see. Okay. When I go to the setup of master data, a customer master data, I mean to say. Now, here I say company. Okay. Suzuki Savet Limited. And search term will help you to identify. The base identity when you forget something. It's like a hint key. I'll okay. say SUZ. Mm -hmm. As a street number 44. Post box number, give any five digit number. Mm -hmm. Frankfurt, Germany. 
and once you give the country it will give all the states of that country all right as a hamba since i get a germany if i give india it will give all okay. the of india the hamba yeah yeah all right continue and save it back hmm all right so i'm done with my company and company code from financial accounting point of view next come to logistics general we define the okay. plan define plant double click on it okay new entries i'll say here uh, s u z p c normally during the project you see all these short codes what i given by s u z s z one i am giving they all will be in numerical 1000 1100 1100 yeah. notices right yeah 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 so here there are a so lot of numerical codes in the given because we use for training purpose lot of trainees and me we are using for multi purpose mm -hmm. we see lot of numbering already used and it will be confusion for us to remember what number is mm -hmm. given for what So that's the reason I give okay. the company's example as a key letters. Easy for us to remember, oh, okay. easy for us to recall it also. So S U Z plant, S U Z S sales organization, S U S U S H shipping part like that, right? Okay. So it accepts alphabetical, it alpha, it accepts numerical, it accepts alpha numerical. Okay. So S U Z key plant zero one. Mhm. Mm And Can read this. What is this field? Country. Once again, please read. Country code. Co county code. County. County code. County code. Yes. Ah. Oh. So yeah, every trainee confuses and they start giving the country. It throws some error. So it's a county. In Germany, okay. we don't have county. In Germany, okay. we don't have counties. And in India also, we don't have counties. If it is country like uh -huh. USA, we have counties like Hunter and County, Bergen County, New Jersey County. So every state is identified okay. by a municipality there. So we don't have a county. All system. right. Okay, that's called county. Yeah. Okay. Don't know. In Australia also, we don't have the counties. Okay. So mm, yeah, it's yeah, we don't. Not applicable. Rightly come down. Okay. And extract. Factory okay. calendar is very must to maintain. You name a country calendars we have here, so it is not must for whichever mm. country you are doing. It need to have a calendar. You can mention any calendar. So I live in India, and I work as per the UK calendar because my country, my my client is a UK based, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the company should must whatever you are making, it should fall with that country calendar. It is not mandatory. That me. See. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. So we are we are working for um. In India, for example, for Suzuki Germany, so we would be considering the German calendar. Absolutely. Correct. Okay. So give over here. Done. Now, these all fields you see they are presented in a grey mode, right? So when I say enter, yeah, you click on this address tab. I say here. Suzuki mm -hmm. plant zero one. Mm. Suzuki DE and zero two. So once okay. I enter, it disappears. Just click on save. You see all the information. Mm -hmm. Enter and say yes to the request. You see all the information coming in the main screen, which is presented as display earlier. So right okay 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 even in the address screen they all populate yeah right saved and back hmm now the next part is the division hmm suzuki is an automobile based industry where they are into two wheelers they are into four wheelers right so i take right, an example right. of four wheelers So define division. So how many divisions mm -hmm. we have? In, if I say, for example, Suzuki, how many divisions you find? 
in general um apart from two wheelers and four wheelers no no what i meant to say is in four wheeler in four wheeler how many segments uh -huh. let me put in this way how many segments you have in four wheeler as an inside the organization okay let me put in another way oh okay we suv it... and uh, that, that sort of thing yes yes absolutely so then an suv and i say i say basic yeah I say basic as a sedan. I say that's all. Okay. 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 This is one way of make. Another uh -huh. way of make. I have only two divisions: petrol and diesel. That's all. Okay. Yeah, make more sense to me. Yeah. Okay. okay. So a division is identification of a spectrum of products, depending upon the company. They want Correct. to go with the variant wise, or they want to go with the make wise. It's up to them how they want. So I say new entries and say. Correct. Correct. S one. S U Z S U V S two. All right. S U Z and I say S D N. S D N. S T. Okay. S U Z. Basic. Basic. Okay. So I say S S because S one is already used by somebody. And I say S B. S B is also S B salary. Mm -hmm. E. Okay, S one, S two, S three. They are occupied okay. by somebody. Somebody has already used S one, S two, S three. Because it says an entity already there, so that's why okay. I gave a different name as S S and S two and S three. Remember one thing, which is very important. Okay, sir. So when you are practicing, you have uh -huh. intention of giving some short name. Fortunately, it right. is occupied by somebody. You try with okay. something else. You try with something else, and fortunately, it was oh. not. And finally, it is accepted something, and you forgot what is the something when you go for assignment. Yes. So okay. just make a note of ultimately what system is accepted, so it is easy for you to remember when you are going for assignment. Just save it. Okay. 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 Done. So we just done with the first few settings of defining okay. the national coding and logistics general. And tomorrow when we meet, I'll complete the remaining stages of sales, inventory, and execution part, and then we'll go with assignment. And by the end of tomorrow session, you can okay. check the structure, right? Okay. So once I close the meeting now, you'll find this recording. Mm -hmm. In my documents, and it will give you a pop-up before that, asking for you to convert. Just convert it, and then go to my documents sign, play the video. Before converting, you cannot move. If you move, it will not get converted again. Please be very careful. Okay, so I'm gonna. You close the meeting, okay, and I'll wait, and I won't touch anything, and it will give show me a pop-up to convert. Um, convert. But last time it took it took five to seven minutes, and I I thought I had already lost it, but then <laughs> the minute I was gonna get it from my Laptop. Yeah, I saw the pop up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The last time maybe I don't know why. Now it comes normally okay. immediately. Hardly seconds it will take, not minutes. Maybe some time. Okay, so I convert it and then I can view it in my documents, right? Or or, or in my downloads. My documents, not in downloads. My documents of your system. Okay. And after that you can okay. move to any place. But before converting, don't move. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So every session you'll be setting me for every session you'll be sending me. Um, the link. The day? No, no, no. This is a permanent link. The day if the link okay. is changing, one day before I'll ping the new link. You can join with that. Fine. Okay. Okay. Normally, uh, renewal goes at month level. Let's see how it works out. Okay. All right. Okay. So join the same link. I mean, join with the same link even uh -huh. tomorrow, and this will go uh -huh. till this weekend anyway, and uh. I'm not available next week because uh, I'm in. Uh, then, I mean, from coming Monday to Friday, I'm not available. Okay. I mean, Pooja, I'm going to Shivar Mali. You, you, you understand, right? So even from Ahmedabad, yeah. a lot of people come. In south. For what? Ayi Pasami Temple. Okay, I've heard about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So we take Diksha and we go to temple there. So okay. It's a one-week journey for me. 
Okay. So presently, I'm in Diksha, so it it's almost uh, 38 days done now. This Monday, I'm leaving to Shivar Malay, so I'll be back on Friday. Oh. So okay. What I do now, today, tomorrow, till Friday, what all I do? You have enough things to practice. Mm-hmm. I'll give some exercises at the end of the week. Okay. Which can okay. be made as an, on which you can through which you can be occupied during the next week, and you can practice. And once I'm back. we can stretch uh-huh. and go for flexibility and we can close up as soon as possible if you want or else we'll go one hour session every day and we'll make up okay how it is planned all right okay let's see okay okay no worries all right thank you okay thanks a lot wamsi yeah see you tomorrow at the same time okay 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 see you tomorrow bye, bye.